people didn't pay attention to it, but I want you to see this, all right, right here. It's the first part. Nobody's wow. nobody running to that yeah. help her or nothing. Are yeah. you kidding me? People been just desensitized. Just looking? No, they still going. They ain't got time. Wow. Where's this at? Wow. This is That's crazy. That's crazy. Can you see how long? It, oh! oh God. Mm. What is wrong with them? See, they're not even people. That's not human. They're not even human. They, they've been, they've lost their souls. That's not human. You see that? <laughs> you know. I mean, you don't even see nobody taking out the phone. You don't even see nobody taking out the phone, making a phone call. No, right. You, I mean, nothing. And the thing is, is that through all of this technology, what are we becoming? Ro right? Look, robot. What robot. Are we becoming, mm -hmm. Right. The but, first car that hit her, and she flew up on the windshield, should have stopped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kept going. A woman was killed after being hit by a vehicle while crossing the street in the city of Zhongshan in South China's Guangdong province on May 13th. Video footage of the accident was not made available until May 20th. The woman was apparently distracted while talking on her mobile phone, according to surveillance video that shows the woman using her phone while crossing the street. Seconds later, she was hit by a van approaching from the right, sending her to the ground. The driver of a truck approaching her from the left had no time to hit the brakes and drove over the woman after she fell. In this case, the woman should have taken greater care. She was using her phone at the time, and this is part of the reason the accident happened. Police said many people often fail to pay attention while walking or driving because they are distracted by their phones. They added that people should pay attention to traffic regulations and for safety. You know that happened right there. She, no, no, but that no, happened. But they're just, well, they're just showing you that how yeah. she was how, how distracted yeah, she was. She didn't even realize she was crossing the street. Yeah. 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 That happened right here in Philadelphia mm -hmm. on the with the duck. Remember, oh, yeah. the first incident was in the water. Mm -hmm. The second incident was on Market right. Street. The husband and wife were together. She's walking in front of him. Distracted on the phone instead of being with them, when mm. and she when on and phone. she crosses yeah. the street, and you bad to watch seeing your wife get killed right down the street mm. because he couldn't even get us stop that. Mm. They never mm. look up when they're on that phone. Dude, I'm you almost hit no several people walking down the street on yeah. that phone. Right, never look up to see what's coming. Because the thing, but remember, remember what we talked about. People have become addicts. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a it's, drug. It's an it's addiction. A, it's, a form. It, yes. it's an addiction. It's an addiction. And it's a powerful addiction. Very it's powerful. very powerful because you put in your, I, I, I ride with some believers. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, no, you ain't put, no, you're not. You need to put that phone away. Mm -hmm. what, what? Take it out when you get me home if you want to, but you don't need to have that in your, in your, what, what is, what's that important? Well, mm -hmm. well, well I remember. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, making the hodge, and we were driving. We were on our way going back home. I think we were on <laughs> uh, on a little uh, bus to go back to the airport. Mm -hmm. And it was a guy, the driver. He had a little TV thing. And, and <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 yeah, he was a driver. Oh. He looked at that, you know, the phone, and I'm like, <laughs> I couldn't believe the, the the people that was um, while we were going around the. Um, the Kaaba, sister, I mean, you can barely walk without stepping on the back of somebody's toes. Yeah, yeah. And 
she trying to record everything that's focused on <laughs> the hot. How you gonna video? This is no way to video. Mm. Yeah, but it's 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 uh it's addictive. We don't remember phone numbers. Nope. Right. We we don't. I mean, if it all you shuts lose down, everything. I don't know what people gonna mm-hmm. do. But she, <laughs> it's crazy. She she just she just said it. She said, "You uh, uh, you don't uh, use it, you lose it. You lose it. So you think about it. It's dumbing us down. Yeah. Because right. now mm-hmm. think about it. Kids can't do no math. Right. We can't say no. I'm like. What is to, we were robots. I mean, we can just remotely tell you, you know, you got to think. Right, it's right. in your mm-hmm. brain. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's there. I say, you got all this money. You know, but, oh, the, you don't know the new technology. <laughs> I don't open mail anymore. I just look on my phone and get. What? Yeah. But, but this, this, is, this is the other thing. It's a setup. I mean, think about it. When you're on the computer and you're doing an email or whatever, and you're typing, and then the words start coming up. Right? But yep. you typing it in like, Suggested words that you can mm-hmm. that means it knows what you're yeah, yeah right, yep. right? Oh, yes. yeah and then once you type it in they, they know everything know everything that you're doing on these systems oh, system. and that's why they made it highly addictive so that you have it with you all the time so you can be surveilled at all times yeah mm-hmm. okay that is so true because wait a minute i gotta make y'all laugh it's sabrina and i we in jersey and on hatton avenue this place used to call it's a, it's a place that sell real, used to sell real good steaks, donkeys. So at the mean, in the meantime, my daughter had texted me. I obviously must have hit the mic, and I'm texting her back. And then I look down on the text. I'm like, it, long story short, the phone recorded my conversation with my cousin mm-hmm. talking about donkeys. Oh. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, I'm t- it blew my mind mm-hmm. because I number one, I didn't know anything. The feature was even on the phone yeah, to even know there. what it was. Uh, but it blew my mind. She said, "But well, Sabrina, the only way I could have did that is that you had to hit the microphone." I said, "Well, I, I, that's how much I know about this darn thing mm-hmm. because everything that I was talking was right there." Now, now my, uh, it's funny when you said that. It made me think about my barber. Mm. His wife was getting on the on the bus, and she had to set the the new set the pads. Mm-hmm. Was that? Mm-hmm. The key. Yeah. The key. Mm. And you know she got on, and some some happened where they had to uh, try to find their car or something. Or something. Mm-hmm. But what they saw when they were able to locate it, it had the time that she also got off the bus. Yes. Wow. And the stop where she got. Mm-hmm. Everything. The stop and the time. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, that's, so yeah, that's deep. Yeah. Right, everything is being monitored. Well, that's being what they said with watching. Messenger mm-hmm. right now. They, they say take Messenger off your phone yeah. because they're doing everything that you put in, every text that you sent out, everything. They're recording everything that you sent out, every mm-hmm. conversation that mm-hmm. you've had. Yep. The whole nine. Just think about it. You, can, you, don't, you don't even have to have of the fo- the real phone on, you can go to where there's Wi-Fi, and use your messenger f- app to make a phone call without paying well, if whoever you. Public transportation like I do, you don't need that because they just tell you mm-hmm. they're on the phone for conversations mm-hmm. for ev- everybody. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know the name of the person, you know where they live, mm-hmm. so you know what they're gonna do tonight, mm-hmm. you know what they're gonna right. do tomorrow, mm-hmm. you know what they're having for dinner, mm-hmm. you know who's going with who. Who's cheating oh, yeah. on that? <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Because it, it's, wow. it, it all gets into the thing of privacy. Mm-hmm. See, this new generation mm-hmm. coming up, they don't understand the importance of they privacy. They don't mm-hmm. understand right. They, can, they put anything out. They put anything out. Yeah. Right. And that's why they don't they don't mind mm-hmm. having convenience over privacy. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. See, all, all the system does is it waits you out. It waits till that strong generation mm-hmm. breaks down and moves on, and mm-hmm. then it takes the young ones well, that they started they to adopt no mm-hmm. They used to okay. learn in church about privacy because you know in church you had to. <laughs> now it's just like oh. for everybody to hear. Mm-hmm. Like, what happened to them? But now watch this because mm-hmm. I want to show you what I saw on television. All right, after we watch that piece, but now check this out. This is on the show uh, Walking Dead. You familiar with it? Oh, yeah, 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 I watched it. That's the one with the zombies, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Check this out. 
This is what I saw. Now, it's probably because of the light in the room. I have to. I'll, I'll turn this light. Yeah, because that's the dark. Yes, it's super dark. Oops. <laughs> that's not it. We can turn off this light for a second. This just, one? just for this. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think that might be the one that'll. No. Oh. It. There we go. Okay. Now you can see it. You can see it a little bit better here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it. Right. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, watch what they did. And I don't think people are paying attention to it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. It had human evolution, mm -hmm. and then it shows the stages of man's development and evolution. Right. And now he's a zombie. And the last one is <laughs> wow. We got plenty of the those walking around. Zombie. Wow. So. Like I said, a lot of times, whatever the director or producer has you see in the film, mm -hmm. this is what he wants you to see, mm -hmm. okay? So this was done on purpose, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but was it to, um, was it done to uh, make fun of the public? Mm -hmm. Or was it done to try to send a message? Or was it sending a message? Yeah. Intentionally. You know? Right. Intentional. Because this is what this is what we just saw in, in those clips. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Where those people right. just walked past like, yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. right. No no, no compassion, no nothing. no nothing. 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 No feeling. I mean <laughs> nothing. Look, and, and and then you, you think about even when you think about the Black Friday things and how these people are acting mm. crazy. Mm. Right. Only over these materials. Yeah, like savages. Yeah, pushing right. people down, stepping over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Stepping on them. Yeah. Stepping, yeah, yeah. Snatching stuff out their arms. Yes. Okay. So, like I said, this, this medium of television is very powerful. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, you have to pay attention. Mm -hmm. The only way you can watch this stuff is if you watch it critically and analytically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you can watch it. Because if you sit there and you absorb it, you'll get caught up in the illusions of it. Right. Okay. Right. You'll get up, caught up in the illusions and you'll get caught up into the indoctrination of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now, let me show you something. Go ahead. I think it's the prayers get ready coming, right? It's in. Oh, yeah. All right. So let's, I guess we can, we can pause and make uh, a slide or what y'all want to do. This is our last salat. We can we can yeah, stop now and do it, or we can do it when we need to. Knock it out. You know what they own? Yeah, we got to. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's much. uh, let's knock this out. Here. I saw the light come soon. Um. Now. I guess we can turn that light. Mm. Life, life, life. Oh, life is, is mm -hmm. it's good. But I mean, it's, it's good if once you know uh, that it's the E yeah, that the Lord people said. Are, they're 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 right. advertising the toilet paper. Oh, you see that? And the bear yeah. turns around, my honey's coming. Yeah. I said, what the heck? What, what, what happened? You ever see the, the, it's about toilet paper. And they got these bears advertising. Uh -huh. and, and the bears underwear's oh, down there and nobody wants to touch it or pick it up. So the little bear comes out and turns his butt around and say, my honey's clean. My honey. I said, what are they doing? Well, did you see the new top, the, the, the clip that's out it. with a law now on the toilet paper? Wow. They, this was just sent to me this week. It's a company that manufactures toilet paper and it says a law through the whole. That's wow, true. I know they had some with Trump oh, on man. it. <laughs> a law, yeah, but see, they, but they're doing they're doing these things for to agitate. Agitate, yeah, for, right? Yeah, yeah. reaction. They're right. waiting on the reaction. You know, because and they, of course, the drunk Muslim. You know, they don't know. You can lose your life because ain't nobody playing. You see what they did the time. Um, it's right. just it's just sad. You got to be balanced. Now I'm gonna play this for you. And the only reason I'm going to play this for you because it's it's powerful, but it has some profanity in it. Mm -hmm. All right, this is George Carlin. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Oh yeah, he, he's, yeah, he's raw. Oh, but, li- yeah, but listen, to, he, listen he, to what he, he said. <laughs> yeah, he 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 speak his mind. That's for he sure. Stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I used to watch him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just to check what check him out. out to say. <laughs> But there's a reason, there's a reason. There's a reason for this, there's a reason education sucks, and it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never gonna get any better, don't look for it, be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the State Houses, the City Halls. they got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table and figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. And if you think about it, when you think about the state test, the main thing they focus on is reading and math. Mm-hmm. And the math. And the thing is, is that at the expense of what? Because they give you, they give the kids like double reading, double math, right? Mm-hmm. In school. Mm-hmm. At the expense of what, though? Science and social studies. Mm-hmm. Science and social studies, with, with social studies, you're learning about history. Mm-hmm. You're learning about the government. You're learning mm-hmm. about the Constitution, mm-hmm. how these things operate, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. With science, you start to see the beauty of the creation. Mm-hmm. You start to be able to see, oh, yeah, right. you know, yeah. God. To get you to think yeah, he's, he's, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. right? So they snatch those things from you. Mm-hmm. The science gives you the, the critical and analytical thinking, also mm-hmm. the social studies. So this is being taken away from the children, and all they're focusing on is reading and math, mm-hmm. reading and math. And what he's saying is he just they just want somebody smart enough to run the machines. Mm-hmm. Okay. But now watch, listen, because it gets gets a little deeper. That's George Carlin, mm-hmm. atheist. Smart <laughs> yeah. enough to run the machines. But the thing is this, don't be scared to listen to people and take their truths. Right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Because he was a mm-hmm. smart man. Yeah. Right. And, and the thing is, is this. It's just like uh, eating fish. Mm-hmm. You don't eat the whole fish, right? No. You take those parts of the fish that you want and you throw out the mm-hmm. rest. It's, it's scarred the bones. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know what I've learned to do? <laughs> Even with cut bars, I ask Allah to allow me to retain and keep what he would have me mm-hmm. retain and keep. Right. Have you forget and discard the rest. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Allah will make you remember what it's he important. wants mm-hmm. you to do. Mm-hmm. The same with stuff like this. You're absolutely mm-hmm. right. You know. And the thing is, is that I, I listen to Satanists because mm-hmm. I want to hear what they got to say. Yes, I want to hear what they're planning for us. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know what's what's going, what's on their mind. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, because mm-hmm. if you don't know your enemy, huh? Okay, huh? you don't know what they're doing to you. That's yeah. right. How can you combat it? Well, they're right. watching you. Oh, they watching. <laughs> they're study. they study. study. You. They yes. study. Study. Yes. Study. Yes. But study. the thing is, is that but, but they study brain function, mm-hmm. and that's the that's the big thing. They study how the brain operates mm-hmm. and how they can best manipulate you. Mm-hmm. And, and I mean, there's all kinds of stuff going on that I'm telling you, you have no <laughs> And they rise to, they study like every last one of our community mm-hmm. to see what's going on. And, and especially in the lower poverty stricken area, they're mm-hmm. like, oh, we got them. Well, well you watch know, this. What Give they you a bag of food time. Right. you're poor. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people would complain about the census. Mm-hmm. Right? Oh, you know, we're giving mm-hmm. up too right. much information on this census. Mm-hmm. But you think about your Facebook. Right. <laughs> right. All, all kind. They get more information, information off of there than the census. You've given up everything. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 More burglars know when to go in your house. The best time to get in there and get out because you because you told them where you at and where you what you doing and this that and that. Okay, well, yes. But see, but this this is another thing. What you have to think about? Well, let me let me go through this. Let me finish this first because oh, oh, there's so much to talk about. But here we go. Watch this. Work and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your social security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club. And you ain't in it. <laughs> you and I are not in the big club. Yeah. By the way, it's the same big club they use to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long, beating you over the head in their media, telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. And nobody yeah. seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people, white collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good, honest, hard-working people continue, these are people of modest means, continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all, at all, at all. Yeah. You know? And nobody seems to notice, nobody seems to care. That's what the owners count on, the fact that Americans will probably remain willfully ignorant of the big red, white, and blue dick that's being jammed up their assholes every day. Because the owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Excellent point. Yeah, I mean, that's what you could have said no better. Now, this is, a, this is another interesting one. Talk about now there's one thing you might have noticed I don't complain about politicians everybody complains about politicians everybody says they suck yeah. well where do people think these politicians come from they don't fall out of the sky they don't pass through a membrane from another reality they come from American parents and American families, American homes, American schools, American churches, American businesses, and American universities, and they're elected by American citizens. This is the best we can do, folks. This is what we have to offer. It's what our system produces. Garbage in, garbage out. If you have selfish, ignorant citizens, if you have selfish, ignorant citizens, you're going to get selfish, ignorant leaders. And term limits ain't going to be any good. You're just going to wind up with a brand new bunch of selfish, ignorant Americans. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's not the politicians who suck. Maybe something else sucks around here. Like the public. Yeah, the public sucks. There's a nice campaign slogan for somebody. The public sucks. Fuck hope. Fuck hope. Because if it's really just the fault of these politicians, then where are all the other bright people of conscience? Where are all the bright, honest, intelligent Americans ready to step in and save the nation and lead the way? We don't have people like that in this country. Everybody's at the mall, scratching his ass, picking his nose, taking his credit card out of his fanny pack and buying a pair of sneakers with lights in them. <laughs> So I have solved this little political dilemma for myself in a very simple way. On election day, I stay home. I don't vote. Fuck them. Fuck them. I don't vote. Two reasons. Two reasons I don't vote. First of all, it's meaningless. This country was bought and sold and paid for a long time ago. The shit they shuffle around every four years <laughs> doesn't mean a fucking thing. And secondly, I don't vote because I believe if you vote, you have no right to complain. People like to twist that around, I know. They say, they say, well, if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. But where's the logic in that? If you vote and you elect dishonest, incompetent people and they get into office and screw everything up, well, you are responsible for what they have done. You caused the problem. You voted them in. You have no right to complain. I, on the other hand, who did not vote, who did not vote, who... In fact, 
did not even leave the House on Election Day. I'm in no way responsible for what these people have done and have every right to complain as loud as I want about the mess you created that I had nothing to do with. <laughs> so I know that a little later on this year you're going to have another one of those really swell presidential elections that you like so much. You'll enjoy yourselves. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure as soon as the election is over, your country will improve immediately. As for me, I'll be home. You're going to get real vulgar on it. Oh, yeah, just... but, but the thing is this, you have to really think about it. When you deal with elections, you have two candidates to choose from. Only two, mm -hmm. right? And then it's like you're choosing between the lesser of two evils. Yeah, you are pretty yeah. much. And how yeah. can you do that when both of them are equally mm -hmm. easy? Right. Mm -hmm. right. Right? And then you, you vote these people in, and they're passing these laws that you're complaining about. Mm -hmm. Okay? They're mm -hmm. cutting all the programs. Right. That because even that. with um, Hillary, she got a hell of a background. Oh, yes. yes. I mean, yes. Mm -hmm. you, we talking about mass uh, incarceration. Her mass incarceration was equal or worse than um, Trump. Yeah, but, the, in that, but that's, see, this is, this is the game. This is the game. Amazing. Right. But see, we, we don't see through this stuff because we're too entertain and Allah tells you the life of this world is nothing but amusement and play mm -hmm. like, amusement and play when you look it up in the dictionary the word is entertainment mm -hmm. entertainment so exactly <laughs> but now mm -hmm. this is people what, can't see through it because mm -hmm. we see keep pushing that alarm clock snooze <laughs> <laughs> because this is this is what is fear This is when uh, yep. Farrakhan was interviewed by Mike Wallace. Oh, I love that. Oh, <laughs> but, oh I love if you haven't that. seen, watch this. Was interesting. I think, I think you saw this? Video? Yeah, I'm sure you did. This, this. I love that. Nigeria, which is, if not the most corrupt nation in Africa, and it is, it could be the most corrupt nation in the world. Minister Farrakhan. Oh, and now, Mr. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. It is the most corrupt nation that. that I have ever covered. I've been there 25 years ago, and I've been there as recently as last year. Fine. So what? 35 years old. That's what that nation is. Now, here's America, 226 years old. <laughs> you love democracy? But there in Africa, you're trying to force these people into a system of government that you just have accepted 30 years ago, black folk got the right to vote. You're not in any moral position to tell anybody how corrupt Ooh, they are. Yeah. You should be quiet and let right. those Ooh. of us who know our people go there and help them get out of that condition. But America should keep her mouth shut wherever there's a corrupt regime, as much hell as America has raised <laughs> on the earth. No, I will not allow America or you, Mr. Wallace, to condemn them as the most Ooh. corrupt nation on earth when you have spilled the blood of human beings. Has, has Nigeria dropped an atomic bomb and killed people in, in Hiroshima and Nagasaki? Have they killed off millions of Native Americans? How dare you put yourself Ooh. in that position as a moral judge? I the only way... Woo! He tears it up. Right. But the only way that he could have done that is to know history. Oh, yeah. Right. So and he... Right. Let me strip Boy these people. Doesn't he and he, know, he right. know his history. But, but the thing is, is that <laughs> strip the youth of it. Mm -hmm. Strip it away from mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Right. So they don't really know. They have no idea. Mm -hmm. I showed the, showed the kids... Um,